a dream. I had been reliving the tragic moments of my recent past. Thanks to the hyperbeam, which was given to me somehow by the baby, I laid Mother Brain to waste. And the explosion that followed destroyed planet Zebus, along with the remains of Mother Brain, the space pirates, and my long-standing nemesis, Ridley, and the baby. Other M is not your typical Metroid adventure. A sense of isolation and emphasis on exploration are two elements that have defined this franchise for years. But Samus's latest journey goes in a much different direction, resembling a 3D version of Fusion more than any other game in the series. Other M uses lengthy cutscenes to fill in the armor-clad protagonist's sketchy backstory, and the linear level design shoves fast-paced combat to the forefront. However, even though Other M takes a different approach to the classic franchise, it's still great fun. Fighting is challenging and exhilarating, and the strong artistic design creates a moody sense of place. A few pacing issues keep this from matching the very best in the franchise, but Other M is still a well-designed game with plenty of intense boss battles, clever puzzles, and cool-looking environments. Having received mission orders from Adam, I felt confused and strangely exhilarated at the unexpected turn of events. I responded. Understood, Adam. No objections, of course. For the first time in Metroid history, Samus has been given a voice. Unfortunately, the wait may not have been worth it. Her stilted delivery distracts from her message, and her youthful voice clashes with the heroine's prodigious deeds. But once you become accustomed to her newfound vocalization, the story is pretty interesting. Samus responds to a distress signal by a wayward ship, Babies cry. and not only finds deadly creatures crawling along every surface, but her former squad mates have been called in to help as well. Finally learning about Samus's backstory is certainly interesting, but the cutscenes drag on for far too long. It's also strange having so much story injected in a Metroid game, a franchise that usually fills in the plot through environmental details or brief computer readouts. The elaborate cutscenes lead to uneven pacing, but things become a lot more exciting once you assume control of Samus. Other M is played from a third-person viewpoint in a 3D world, but the controls are far from typical. You hold the Wii Remote horizontal, NES style when moving Samus around the spaceship. It's a little odd using the D-pad to move in 3D space, but it becomes second nature before long. Shooting enemies is smooth because a smart auto-aim system ensures you're hitting the most deadly enemy in front of you and it's easy enough to roll into a ball or wall jump without hesitation. What makes this control scheme unique is the implementation of a first-person mechanic. By pointing it at the screen, you switch into a first-person mode, which allows you to freely look around the environment as well as fire missiles. This two-tier system does take a bit to get used to, but once it clicks, it's comfortable and intuitive. It's a good thing the controls perform their duty well because there's a lot of combat in this game. The focus has clearly been placed on close quarter fighting, which makes Other M a lot more action-packed than other games in the franchise. There are very few down moments, so you better keep your gun charged and your eyes peeled for the creepy crawlies hounding your every step, while shooting enemies, either from a first or third person perspective, and laying bombs are still as important as ever, a new dodge ability injects a dose of excitement. By tapping the D-pad right before you get hit, you perform a slow-motion dive out of the way. You can also jump on weakened enemies to finish them off, though it's hard to judge exactly where to jump in a 3D space. Even with that small problem, combat is an absolute blast in other enemies. Linear level design keeps things moving at a brisk pace but that also means there isn't as much exploration as in previous games in the franchise. Your next objective is always marked on your map, and it's easy enough to figure out where you need to go next. There's still lots of missile upgrades and energy packs scattered around to search for, but the streamlined approach to navigation does take away the sense of being stranded in a strange land. What's more surprising is that you don't hunt for new weapons and suit upgrades anymore. Rather, each new ability is enabled when you absolutely need it. 
For instance, there's a moment when you must rescue someone from imminent death, and the only way to reach him is by using a grapple beam. It's a contrived system, but it makes as much sense as collecting random weapons like in other games. Samus, use of the grapple beam is authorized. Get to Anthony and cover him. The best part of Other M is when you get to face off against deadly bosses. The combat is excellent throughout the adventure, but it really shines against these giant beasts who can easily take you down if you aren't paying close attention. Your dodge ability is essential to staying alive in these epic battles because the bosses can sap huge chunks of health as they catch you napping. If your focus is strong and your aim is true, you shouldn't have too much trouble topping these meanies. The punishment is swift and severe for people taking them lightly. Other M has strong artistic design. The different habitations on this spaceship are all well realized, from a chilly arctic environment to a creepy bug lair, and it's a treat to see what new world you'll happen upon next. But Other M is not able to match the artistic beauty with impressive technical wizardry. Poorly defined textures permeate this game, giving everything a hazy feel. Other M is still a good looking game, but tentacle of blemishes keep it from really impressing. Other M is certainly a strange entry in the series, but even though it doesn't feel like a typical Metroid game, it's still really darn fun. The excellent combat will keep you on your toes throughout the adventure, and even though the level design is more straightforward than you may be used to, it's still a blast to search for every last item in this expansive spaceship. Aside from some graphical problems and pacing issues, Other M is another great entry in the franchise that should please longtime fans and newcomers alike.